Neither the Oakland County executive nor his driver had drugs or alcohol in their system when they got into a serious car accident. 7 Action News reporter Smitha Koloki explains why Elbrooks Patterson's medical records were released. The crumpled up wreck on August 10th left three of the four people involved with serious injuries. One of them, Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Prosecutors say the Passat, driven by Anthony Pernito of Royal Oak, turned in front of Patterson's Chrysler 300 in Auburn Hills. Pernito has been charged with causing the accident, but Patterson's attorney says the blame is unfairly being shifted to him and his driver, former Michigan State Police Trooper James Cram. In addition, it is my opinion that the criminal defense attorneys representing Mr. Pernito have attempted to create, through innuendo and innuendo only, a belief that alcohol was somehow involved. I never suggested any type of uh, innuendos whatsoever of alcohol being involved. Limited medical information released by Patterson's attorney shows neither alcohol nor illegal drugs were in either the driver or passenger system at the time of the crash. Still, Pernito's attorney, Josh Nushin, says Cram might be to blame and not his client. Mr. Cram uh, might have made an abrupt lane change and uh, came back within his lane uh, within five seconds before impact. Patterson is in his third phase of rehab, now working on his ability to walk. His driver, James Cram, remains hospitalized with serious injuries. The passenger in Pernito's car, who is the only one wearing a seatbelt, is recovering from a broken pelvis. Patterson's attorney says they plan to take legal action in civil court against Pernito and his employer, CVS, since he was on the job at the time of the accident. There will definitely be a claim for damages made on behalf of Mr. Patterson and Mr. Cram. Whether or not litigation ensues depends upon the uh, willingness to resolve this matter by CBS and their insurance carrier. Both sides are expected to be back in court later this month. From Waterford, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News.